Now at six, the loophole that means you are not warned about many trains with dangerous cargo. The call tonight to change that. Plus experts answer the crucial question. Is the water in our area safe to drink? Trying to escape domestic abuse can turn deadly. The new Kentucky push to keep survivors safe. This is WCPO 9 News. Thanks so much for joining us at 6 o'clock. First tonight, Governor Mike DeWine says state officials had no idea that the train that derailed in East Palestine, Ohio, was carrying hazardous chemicals. And to kick off our team coverage tonight, investigative reporter Craig Cheatham joins us now from the newsroom with the governor's concerns and also the changes he wants Congress to consider. Craig and Tanya at a news conference that ended about 90 minutes ago. The governor said the railroad, Norfolk Southern, didn't give state officials advance notice that the train carried hazardous chemicals. That's because the law didn't require it. DeWine says he was told that railroads are only required to give advance notice if most of the cars on the train contain hazardous chemicals, and most of the cars on that train did not. Frankly, uh, if this is true, and I'm told it's true, uh, this is absurd, uh, and we need to look at this, uh, and Congress needs to take a, take a look at how these things are handled. DeWine says Congress should require railroad companies to notify states when they are transporting hazardous chemicals in those states. State officials say the pollution from the rail cars killed about 3,500 fish, but that pollution has not been connected to the deaths of any non-aquatic life. DeWine says Norfolk Southern CEO promised that the, that the company will stay in the impacted areas until the cleanup is finished. Tanya. Craig, thank you. So the streams that were affected do run directly into the Ohio River about here, far, far upstream from Cincinnati. The head of the Ohio Department of Natural Resources says the Ohio is so large that chemicals will quickly dissipate within that river. And we're told it could take a week to reach our area. And we've been assured from the Greater Cincinnati Water Works that they can turn off their intake valves to avoid the chemicals altogether should they be detected and could provide additional treatment if needed. And to that point, our team coverage continues with WCPO 9 News reporter Jessica Hart, who's live right now. So, Jessica, we see the river, of course, behind you. You spoke with a local organization that is actually doing the testing on the water there. Craig, yes, I did. And they largely confirm what we've heard from the governor and heads of state agencies today. The Ohio River stretches 981 miles. But scientists are focused on only part of the river. But there is a point moving downstream toward uh, the Cincinnati area toward Hamilton County. Chemicals released from a derailed train in East Palestine found their way into the Ohio River through the Little Beaver Creek. We are looking specifically for butyl acrylate. It's a colorless liquid that has a distinct fruity smell. It's a slightly soluble uh, in water, so it is possible that it may dilute out to the point where it is not uh, harmful to or will not get into the uh, any kind of water systems down here in Hamilton County. And it's getting weaker as it travels downstream. Every time that intersection with the Ohio River, it increases the flow in the river. And so if you have the same amount of chemical that's moving down the river, it's going to dilute. If the chemical reaches the Cincinnati area, Greater Cincinnati Water Works is prepared to filter it out by using granular activated carbon. So doing that then, that um, when we put this in a, in a filter bed, when the water passes through the filter bed of carbon, the chemicals and materials will stick to the carbon. And so when the water comes out, then uh, it won't have those uh, contaminants in it. Greater Cincinnati Water Works tells us no vinyl chloride has been detected in the Ohio River. When the plume reaches our area, Water Works will close their intakes as a precaution. They say it won't cause any problems because they have several days of reserves. Reporting live from the banks of the Ohio River, Jessica Hart, WCPO 9 News.